Nova Launcher, Nova Launcher, Nova Launcher, Nova Launcher. Yeah, it's probably my favorite. One of the most powerfulest Android customization launchers out there. Yeah, it would be nice if they added in something a little extra, allowing us to customize our app drawers, maybe as a little swiping thing. I mean, luckily for me, I do have a Samsung phone, so that edge panel kind of does make up for it. But how about for the rest of you guys? What if there was something out there that allowed us to take the ease of use from Pi controls and combine it with the accessibility of Niagara Launcher? Yeah, I know, you don't want to replace Nova. I don't want to replace Nova. What if we could have a launcher on top of another launcher? Launcher Inception? Oh, by the way, do you like my Gundam setup? That one's pretty cool, right? Now let me introduce you guys to Zone Launcher, a totally underrated launcher which does exactly that. It takes Niagara and smashes it together with Pi. So now using the tab on the sides, you'll be able to swipe in and instantly have access to not only your favorite apps, but also the rest of the app drawer as well. It's pretty interesting. Not only does it allow you to run it alongside other launchers, but even more importantly, it allows you to simplify your home screens. And you know me, I love my live wallpapers. So yeah, this really allows us to show them off. And just like Nova Launcher, there's a ton of customization. I mean, just check this out. You can tweak everything from the trigger zones, the app theme, the background itself. You can have your wallpaper shining through, the icon pack itself, and colors for literally everything. There's definitely a ton to play with. And of course, I'm kind of skipping past the fact that you can assign any of our apps to that favorite list, which is also customizable. So you can not only adjust the number of slots, but also the columns as well. So you can have a much more narrower look if you wanted. Now, sadly, I do have to say, don't get too excited because a lot of this is locked behind a paywall. So do keep that in mind. And as a quick note to the developer, it'll be great if you add it in a trial option. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to play around with here. But what I really do like about this app is the fact that us as a user can decide how we want to use it. So we can either replace our entire home screen with this one app, just as we would with any other launcher. Or if we wanted, we can actually add to our home screens. So for example here, instead of heading into Nova's app drawer, we could jump into the side tab itself. It's definitely interesting to say the least. But what do you guys think? Nova? Zone? Or will you be combining them both? And of course, if you guys want to see more underrated apps, make sure to like and subscribe. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.